Cardano price struggling, struggling to gain that momentum to the upside to break that dollar thirty, dollar forty, dollar fifty resistance. What does it mean for Cardano? What does it mean for Cardano in the short term? But more importantly, everyone, what does it mean for Cardano in the long term? What's up, everyone? Welcome to Crypto Capital Venture. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, turn the notification bells on. Let's jump into the Cardano video. This is the hourly. We track the hourly all the time. I know you're all watching it. I'm watching it as well. That's why we track it. And I want to start here, and I just want to say something to you. I have tried so hard in every video, every single video, to start here on the zoomed out chart to try and just, in it just even a couple minutes, before I start videos, present to you the long, the long term story that Cardano is telling and the charts are telling. Because as we zoom in on the hourly, it gets ridiculous, everybody. You can't be so emotionally tied to the hourly chart. If you are, if, then you're, you're a trader. And this channel, my YouTube channel, is not for traders. It's not for people that only care about hourly. I get some comments like people kind of blaming me that there's any type of move to the downside. They're blaming me because I've been so bullish on Cardano, and it's true. We have videos at 10 cents talking about how bullish Cardano is. I think we've been pretty, pretty right. And all of you who have been accumulating, I think we've been pretty spot on. Now, don't mix up the fact that I am so macro bullish on Cardano with what happens on the hourly charts. Please do not. We're talking about swing like swings from a you know dollar 48 to a dollar 18 a 20 percent swing to the downside that doesn't have anything to do with me being bullish or bearish that's just crypto it happens all the time so if you're new to crypto please understand that but i i i've been trying so hard to start here on the zoomed out and the story that's being told and i've said this time and time again is cardano we need to see cardano get extension and separation from the 786 line of the bull market doors the bull market doors is a fibonacci it's a swing high all the way down to the bear market swing low and this is the weekly chart to this resistance channel cardano has broken the channel but we need separation from it similar to what bitcoin has done similar to what ethereum has done and it hasn't happened and we start there because we want to see that story being told and it very well can be it, it could be being told right now and here you see this ascending triangle. And this was the other day, March 18th, uh, Coinbase Pro listing. Check this clip out from that day, a few hours before this amazingly bullish event. Be prepared. You, you, this is crypto. This is like anything can happen. But this is to illustrate how bullish Cardano is right now. Because right now, from that area, putting aside all the news, we are 19 to 25% away from a dip like that happening and if it happened cardano is still at a dollar seven that was at a dollar 43 and here's the six hour chart everybody this is the six hour chart why was i talking about downside a few hours before the most bullish event of uh, like of all time coinbase pro listing because this is crypto and so we always anticipate downside on this youtube channel and that's what i want to offer you here is the anticipation of it all the volatility of it all. If you're not mentally prepared for these things, you're gonna fail. Most likely you're going to fail everybody. And so it has played out. Markets didn't react bullishly to the Coinbase Pro listing. There was that resistance at $1.50. And so just as I talked about in that video, we just kind of entered a downtrend. And it's, it's very evident on the six hour. It's even more evident if you go over here on the hourly chart, you can see it. And so we can start tracking, well, what does it mean for Cardano? So I did that video at $1.43, and this is actually the, this is actually the daily chart right here. Um, $1.43 when I did the video. So let's just see. On the daily chart right around here, and we are down currently 15% or so from when I did the video. Right now on the daily chart, an area that we can just be mindful of is the 20-day moving average right now around $1.17. That's fine. But if you really want to get an idea of what Cardano is doing, we start here. And this was from a clip from yesterday. I'm not going to show, show the clip, but this is Cardano testing this resistance area, a green channel. Uh, and it's a green resistance channel, Fibonacci resistance. 
basically marking the potential lower high of a downtrend. And so if we go to the six hour, we can see what that looks like. Here's the six hour chart. And this is the Fibonacci resistance that we talked about. So swing high back here to swing low bottom of the ascending triangle. And we have Cardano, you know, the Coinbase stuff. It like it brought Cardano kind of through it, but it was not lasting at all. And if you actually probably better illustrated on the daily chart, if you look at the same exact Fibonacci swing high to swing low, we didn't get any type of daily close above the Fibonacci resistance is 786. We got the wick to that resistance trend line. That dollar fifty area is huge resistance for Cardano right now. Um, and then we started coming down. So on the six hour, here's what it looks like. And then I think in yesterday's video, we talked about the same channel. We need to break above it. And it just hasn't happened, everybody. And so we 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 go back to the original video that I discussed, which is the potential for downtrend to the dollar seven area and it's continually in play. And I, I, I just wanna lay it out there for you because it doesn't mean that Cardano is bearish. Short term, yeah, if you're gonna just, if you're gonna wrap yourself up in the hourly charts, the six hour, and you're gonna get like emotionally invested into these very zoomed in charts, then yeah, I guess maybe it's, it's pretty painful to watch, right? That swing high, and that's not the right, that's not the right thing, I want the price range. Swing high to right now, swing low, 18%. And then to that potential dollar seven area, we're looking at 28% downside. And this was like off of the news of a Coinbase listing. And then the Coinbase.com listing after Coinbase Pro, it's like, how is this happening? Well, the technicals are coming into play, everybody. And we always mention what else is happening in crypto, right? And going into this week, you know, it's mid weekend going into this week, what's going to happen? And it, it just, there's a bigger picture going on. And that's why you always have to start on the zoomed out chart. You always have to start here. What's going on in terms of the Cardano roadmap. You always have to start here. I've been, I've been showing this tweet so often from Peter. It's just been like nonstop because there's so many bullish events happening for Cardano. Uh, and here's the list. And it's important to remind yourself of these things as we're in a downtrend, because if you're long-term invested, that's really what's most important. And then here we are on the six hour. So again, going back to that video from that Coinbase Pro uh, listing, the downside, let's just check that out real quick. Right now, swing low to that swing high. I charted this in the video. We're, we're like halfway there, right? Uh, $1.21, $1.22 as I do this video. And you can see the 618 right around $1.16 down to this $1.07 area. Now, here's what's cool about this setup. If we zoom out and we kind of remove some of this stuff, this will be Cardano consolidating. And if you remember, and I'll zoom out even more on the six hour, this is really all Cardano has been doing over and over again, leading into all of these things, all of the bullishness. And it's why I've been so bullish on Cardano because of everything going on, but leading into each of these new announcements, each of these new eras that Cardano has, smart contracts coming up now, a new era, uh, the completion of Gogan, leading into these things, Cardano has consistently fallen into patterns like this. This isn't anything new. And so if you are new into Cardano, I just wanna let you know of that fact based on the data on the screen. We've fallen into these consolidation patterns over and over again and that stems all the way back here. Here, here was Shelly, right? Here was the Mary Hard Fork. And Shelly, after Shelly, we had a huge dip to the downside. So even after the Mary Hard Fork here, we have a huge dip to the downside. What does that mean? Is that really that bearish? Yeah, short term, maybe it is. Maybe it hurts a little bit. But long term, is it really bearish? Or is it the setup for the next explosion to the upside? Right here, that was a huge setup. Right here, setup, setup, setup. So, do you see what I'm saying? Now, if we're, if you know, if crypto is going to just somehow, as many people, not me, but a lot of people just saying, you know, this is the top, everybody, bull market's over soon. If that's the case, then yeah, maybe we start trickling down. Be prepared for that. I'm just, you know, and I'm prepared for it mentally. However, I don't think that's the case. But, a short term consolidation right now. I, I just want to remind you we're at a dollar twenty two Cardano. 
and it's just chilling in the middle of an ascending triangle, it's not that big of a deal. So please zoom out on the charts, everybody. I just, I, I wanted to kind of like, you know, be a little bit more stern in my approach because I have really truly been getting a lot of comments lately. People kind of being like, you've been so bullish, but I just want to remind you on the short term, I've completely, I tried so hard to prepare you for the downside targets. And here's what it looks like. And that downside target, if it were to be hit, and we have to continue tracking this and we'll go to the hourly in a second. But if that were to be hit down here, this would be, this could be potentially a huge bullish setup because we're allowing Cardano to consolidate in this symmetrical triangle with a breakout target to the upside of $2.50 plus. Now, mind you, there is a downside target to the 64 cent area. The reason that's important just to have on the back of your mind is this 50 cent area on the weekly is the 20 week moving average. And we want to see that pulled up, but could that reach into the 60s and could Cardano just kind of meet it there for the next phase of the bull run? Potentially, and it's gonna it's going to require you to be very patient. And so this YouTube channel is a macro long-term YouTube channel. And I, I want to really encourage you to be patient in these markets. I do cover the hourly charts and this is what it looks like, but at the end of the day, all I really truly care about is the macro. And here is the hourly chart. I mean, what are we looking at right now? We're looking at this Fibonacci retracement, uh, which was the swing high to swing low. We talked about, I think in yesterday's channel or yesterday's video, can Cardano break it? Cardano didn't even test it. And we're in, we're in a new short term downtrend. And now at the very, very least, if you want to track Cardano truly on the hourly, and we, we can take this swing low to swing high where Cardano just failed. It just did. And now we're there. We're in a Fibonacci support area that Cardano we want to see hold. And I mean, Cardano literally just tested it $1.21, $1.21 and a half or so up to $1.24 and a half. So on the very short term, if you want to track Cardano and you insist on looking at the hourly, let's see how this holds up. Can Cardano get a bounce back to the upside? Um, you know, the last resort bounce for Cardano kind of coming back to the upside. Time will tell. That's what you can track on the short term. But everybody, I encourage you. I mean, for me, my mental sanity, I just like this chart. I like to allow room for Cardano to consolidate, put in a higher low from this previous swing low. There's a, there's a ton of things happening for Cardano. There's so much demand for Cardano. We're all kind of just invested in this entire new ecosystem institutional money not even on board yet smart contracts getting ready to happen the multi-asset ledger has been launched there's a lot of really cool things happening and the masses are under underestimating cardano um so i'm very bullish i'm very macro bullish um, but i wanted to do an update for you all around the board macro uh zoomed in and just really talk about what's happening for cardano so those are my thoughts today i don't know what else to say we're going to continue to track it just as it is from the March 18th video, I'm just eyeing up Cardano. I'm, I'm anticipating that huge 25, 30% dip. It's in play. Uh, we're halfway there, obviously, as you see on the screen. And I'm just ready for it. And that's all I do. I encourage you to be ready for it as well. I appreciate you just tracking this with me. Uh, if you're hanging in there and you're just holding your Cardano, go earn interest on it. Stake. Take part in this ecosystem, this decentralized uh, consensus algorithm. Do it. I love calling it that because that's what we're taking part in. I started the CCV staking pool uh, around a week ago, just over a week ago. 12 and a half million ADA staked. You all are awesome. This is just fun. We are on this journey together um, and I appreciate your support as we grow this pool. So those are my thoughts on Cardano. Let's see what it does. Let's see if support holds on the very, very short term as I do this video. That's what we'll be tracking. If there's a big, huge move, uh, do an another update for you, but um, hit the subscribe, hit the like. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.